Yeah, the, the, the makeup of the race has changed an awful lot, and it brings in horses who I wouldn't normally have fancied, the likes of all the mollies, who is a real mud lover. I know it's, it's not desperately deep ground today, but it's uh, at least she's got a better chance now than would appear the case a couple of hours ago, and knows how to win races as well, so it could be a bit of value despite the high draw. Yeah, funny, I thought all the mollies as well, so I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but Kieran <laughs> Murphy's uh, mayor. Now, she doesn't win very often, but she is a, a three times a winner from yeah. 36 starts, but uh, she's got wins um, over various trips as well, hasn't she? So you wouldn't be too worried about the, the 10 furlongs either. She's a fairly strong stare. Her last victory was at Gorham back in October over nine and a half furlongs, and beaten third uh, at Sligo last time out. No, not really looking like she was going to be involved that day but if you look at this race and this class then you'd think that she could be competitive so yeah we're, we're going to go together here John will be getting out to Gary to find out what he thinks but um, what about the, the last time out winner in here Swiss Army officer let's uh, talk a little bit more about him Yes. and we're all the mollies let's find out what Gary O'Brien thinks uh, on the course you're going to join us with all the mollies Gary I think she's got plenty going for her, to be honest, Rachel. Now, the one thing with all the mollies is she's a very tricky filly and often gives trouble down at the start. So we'll be paying close heed to her in the preliminaries here. I would imagine she is already down at the start. She usually goes down early, and I think that would have been the case here again today. Young Jamie Powell on board. He'll be on a high still after riding his second career, w career winner at Nace just the other day, and he still has one left with his... Ten pound allowance, based with Johnny Murta, and trained by Kieran Murphy. All the mollies, as the guys were saying, there three-time winner, no problem whatsoever with the conditions, the rain that's fallen here at Sligo. Plenty of soft ground form, two wins, in actual fact, on heavy for all the mollies. And the draw is not ideal. In fairness, installed well, far from it. Actually, might just make life a bit trickier for her, but. She was also placed, it's worth bearing in mind, on her only previous visit here to Sligo. So as long as she does behave herself, and as I say, we'll keep an eye on her down at the start. She is one I would definitely have on a short list here. So you'd be probably a brave enough man having a few quid on her, given that she can be a tad unpredictable. Ran well here last time, though, when third to Lady Georgie. As far as they think, I've just heard a commentator, Peter O'Hare, say all the mollies is in, which is good news for her connections and supporters. They're off. And the approach to the straight, prominent towards the inside with the red cap. Disputing the lead is Alice Milligan. Close up with the blue headgear is Swiss Army officer as they make the turn into the straight. Going along in front, Alice Milligan. Ollie's folly is improved. Swiss Army officer towards the outside in the black and blue. The orange colours of approach to the city, tracking the leader, tracked in turn by Ben Alexander out on the outside, carried in between horses, the red and yellow of Duck and Vanish as they come up to pass the judge. Going along in front, Alice Milligan, Ronan Whelan, stretches on by about four lengths to approach the city. The inside, Sam Ewing, alongside is Ollie's Folly and Adam Tracy. And they're followed around the turn by Swiss Army officer Emmett McNamara, just fourth on the outside of Ben Alexander and Gavin Ryan. Behind them, the inside, Canoor in the black colours, Scott McCullough, alongside is Carrie and Sirica Woods. As they head on with less than six furlongs to race, Bowling along, out in front, Alice Milligan, leading the chase on the outside, Ollie's Folly, with approach to the city. Swiss Army officer is in fourth spot, driven along in fifth, Ben Alexander, then Canor, Secret Wizard, the inside of Carried, and then Duck and Vanish and Gamagin, all the mollies, and at the back of the field is Say Yes, as they continue down the far side. They have about four and a half furlongs to race. Alice Milligan's lead is down to about a length and a half now, tracked by approach to City and Ollie's Folly, Swiss Army officer remains close up in fourth. Ben Alexander still driven on the inside in fifth and then Canoor and Duck and Vanish and carried and Gamagin as they make the turn at the three furlong point and begin the approach to the straight. Still out in front, Alice Milligan chased by Swiss Army officer trying to improve on the outside of Ollie's Folly. Weakening approach to City, passed by Canoor, Gamage in the outside and then behind them Duck and Vanish as they near the turn in. With about a furlong and a half to race and still out in front and clear by four or five is Alice Milligan. 
Running up the straight to the furlong pole, Alice Milligan clear, Gamage and staying on now into second, Swiss Army officer and then duck and vanish. Inside the final furlong and still out in front is Alice Milligan. The lead is down to a length as Gamagin stays on well on the outside and they fight it out, coming home well behind them all the mollies. Gamagin getting up on the stand side and Gamagin will win it from Alice Milligan. All the mollies up for third, just ahead of Duck and Vanish and a break then to Swiss Army officer. Mm. Well, it's out of a muta fear mare, so stamina influence on the dam side related to a listed winner in Australia, actually. And I'd imagine Connections probably had much higher hopes for him than perhaps obtaining a first win in a claimer but who knows maybe this could be a turning point for him and whether he'll have a new home or not after